Republicans are panicking in this last couple of weeks before the election, holding these massive rallies. This one hosted by Charlie Kirk, and he has Tucker Carlson, the, the former Fox News white supremacist, current private citizen white supremacist, um, given a speech. He says, oh, I've never been spoken at a political rally before, even though he, that's what he's been doing for the last several weeks. He He's a dangerous demagogue, to be sure, but he's also a bona fide white supremacist, someone who has said with his mouth a quote that immigrants make our country poorer and dirtier. He's someone who has gone on the, the air for years when he was in, on Fox News hosting his nightly uh, white supremacy power hour, talking about white genocide and the great replacement theory. All of these things that used to be whispered about by white supremacists, by active neo-Nazi types. And now he's made them normal. Him and Donald Trump and a cadre of other racists have, have made it normal political discourse. And in this clip, you're gonna witness him to really take the, 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 the weird to the next level, kind of sideways equating Donald Trump to God, kind of, uh, getting weird and gross about giving this uh, uh, daughter a vigorous spanking and creating this weird analogy that Donald Trump is all of our fathers. He's our dad and he's gonna come home and he's gonna punish us and set things straight. It's very, very weird. And then I'm gonna play a clip from a CNN reporter who's on the ground there who describes the scene when Donald Trump did come on the air or come, come on stage and uh, they're chanting daddy's home. Just bananas embarrassing shit here. Um, and I wanna share it with you. Here's Tucker Carlson talking about daddy being home. If you allow people to get away with things that are completely over the top and outrageous, if you allow your two-year-old to smear the contents of his diapers on the wall of your living room, and you do nothing about it, if you allow your 14-year-old to light a joint at the breakfast table, if you allow your hormone-addled 15-year-old daughter to like slam the door of her bedroom and give you the finger, you're gonna get more of it. And those kids are gonna wind up in rehab. It's not good for you, and it's not good for them. No. There has to be a point at which dad comes home. Yeah, that's right. Dad comes home. And he's pissed. Dad is pissed. He's not vengeful. He loves his children. Disobedient as they may be, he loves them. Because they're his children, they live in his house. But he's very disappointed in their behavior. And he's gonna have to let them know. He's gonna have to get to your room right now and think about what you did. And when dad gets home, you know what he says? You've been a bad girl. You've been a bad little girl and you're getting a vigorous spanking right now. And no, it's not gonna hurt me more than it hurts you. No, it's not. I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna hurt you a lot more than it hurts me. And you earned this. You're getting a vigorous spanking because you've been a bad girl. And it has to be this way. It has to be this way because it's true. And you're only gonna get better when you take responsibility for what you did. That's not said in the spirit of hate. It's not said in the spirit of vengeance or bigotry, far from it. It's said in the spirit of justice, which is the purest and best thing there is. And without it, things fall apart. W creepy, right? I mean, that's creepy. Talking about giving the daughter mm, a vigorous spanking. Like, wh what's happening in this clip? Uh, look, I know Tucker Carlson, Donald Trump, all of these people are bereft of dignity, bereft of shame. They don't, they don't care how creepy or gross or pedophilic they, they appear, they, they, don't, they don't care, they're weirdos. 
But the, the, the overarching question I think I want to know is, look, I'm not a constitutional scholar or expert, but yeah, I, can, I, can, I know my way around the Constitution. And what I'm really curious about is the, the daddy's home clause. I, I'm, if anybody knows where the daddy's home clause is in the United States Constitution, please let me know because I can't find it. Furthermore, it's not, he's making the analogy that it's Donald Trump's house and he's gonna get it in order and you're gonna listen because it's his house. It's not his fucking house, Tucker Carlson. It's we the people's house. It is our house. He is but a public servant. And I'm not here for a spanking from Donald Trump. And no, nor is anybody else I know. This is not Donald Trump's country. It is our country. He is but an elected official who has been chosen from 2016 to 2020, 20, uh, January 20th, 2017 to January 20th, 2021. He was chosen by our goofy electoral college system to run the country even though he lost the popular vote in grand fashion. That's what he is, a public servant, just as Kamala Harris will be when she is hopefully elected to that office, a public servant. These people. So here's uh, Elena Treen, a CNN reporter, kind of summing up what it's like on the ground there, being in the room and witnessing what is taking place while the crowd goes wild for the, the, the spanking the daughter metaphor and the Donald Trump, this being his house and all of the weird cultish nonsense she lays out and kind of explains that when Donald Trump does take the stage, the, the cult crowd is chanting daddy's home. One thing that is new that I haven't heard is when Tucker Carlson was speaking tonight, uh, he started to say that if Donald Trump were to win, it would be like, quote, daddy's home, daddy's coming home. And he said that Trump, like God, loves all of his children, talking about the mainstream media, in his words, and uh, Democrats, and said that Trump would need to give them a good spanking. Now, this is something the crowd went wild for here. There are thousands of people here. And when Trump came on stage, uh, as you can see, speaking behind me, they started screaming and chanting, Daddy's home and Daddy Dawn. So this is something I have not heard at a Trump rally so far. But I can tell you the vibe in the room tonight does almost feel like a mini RNC. Weird, gross, dangerous. More importantly, it's dangerous. This is a cult. Daddy's home? Daddy Dawn? It's his house? It's his prerogative to spank. This is all just a mild metaphor for the same language Donald Trump has used about dispatching, deploying the United States military against radical left lunatics like corporate Democrat Adam Schiff, like, like middle of the road Democrat, maybe center right Democrat Nancy Pelosi. If those people are considered radical left Democrats that need to be rooted out because they are vermin poisoning the blood of our country, Donald Trump's words, then what am I? I'm an extra special kind of danger in their eyes. Daddy's home. What do you think? Uh, comment below. I would love some comments below that'll help YouTube to share this content with new viewers. That would be fantastic. On the march to a million subscribers. I'm only here because of you. I appreciate you so, so much. You can also call, leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. As always, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. Follow me on social media. I'm at dollamore everywhere. I'd love to see you. And I will see you next time. Ugh. Be genuine. Take care of one another.